morning everyone i hope you had an awesome long weekend we are getting started with a new week we are starting our week on a tuesday because we did not have school yesterday so in order to do our calendar this morning i need you to have your paper calendar and we will need our yes no for our question of the day okay we are going to start with our big calendar first so i'm going to get up so i can show you our big calendar all right, we are still in the month of October, even though we are very, very close to the end of our month. So we are in the month of October. Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. And yesterday was Monday. Let's sing our Days of the Week song. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Awesome job. That is our days of the week song. All right, friends, we are going to, ooh, let's count on here first, and then we'll move to our paper calendar, okay? Make sure you have your dry erase marker too, okay? So let's count to find out what our number day is today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Today is the 27th. Now, since we had a long weekend, we have to catch up on our calendar, okay? We left off on the 22nd, okay? So we need to move to the 22nd. Then we need to do 23. 23. Now here's gonna be 24. Now we have 25. Now yesterday was 26. And today is 27. So we are all the way to 27, right there. All right, now I said today is Tuesday. So you can write the letter T right here. Today is Tuesday. Now, if you want to spell out the whole word Tuesday, I can help you. It is T-U-E-S-D. A Y Tuesday. So today is Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. So you can put the what 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 letter do we put? What what W what what Wednesday. Now if you want to spell out the whole word, it is W E D N. E S D A Y Wednesday. Now yesterday was Monday. So what letter? M M M. Now if you want to spell out the whole word, it is M O N D a Y Monday. Excuse me. Monday. All right, and we are still in fall. We are still in fall. All right, now we can go ahead and flip over and we can check our weather. How is the weather today? I'm going to look outside my window. Hmm, how is my weather today? 
I see that it is a little cool and cold. It feels a little cold outside. So I said it is cold. Now, looking outside, I don't see the sun. I don't. You might see the sun by you, but I don't. I just see lots of clouds. So I'm going to say it is cloudy today. Cloudy. Now we have to look at our clothes and think about if we're going to go outside, what do you need to wear? I went outside this morning and I wore a jacket. I'm wearing pants, jacket, pants. I wore gloves this morning because it was cold. I did have a glove and I was wearing a scarf this morning. I had a scarf. I didn't put on my boots because it wasn't snowing. I do have a long sleeve shirt on. So I have my jacket, my pants, I wore a scarf, gloves, and a long sleeve shirt today. Good job, friends. It is time to do our question of the day. Now, our question of the day is, do you have a friend? Do you have a friend? Now, you can tell me yes or no, or you could also tell me who your friend is. So I'm going to say yes. Yes, I have a friend. And I would say I have lots of friends, but I have one friend that you guys remember from last year, Miss Beale. We used to go to her classroom. Or my friend Miss Christina, when we went to go to the fire station field trip, okay? So she, that was a couple weeks ago, Miss Christina is also my friend. So yes, I do have friends. Do you have a friend? Now you can ask your grown up and they can say yes or no and they can tell you if it's a yes who their friend is. All right, friends, we are going to move to talk about some fall stuff. We're gonna read our book, Duck and Goose Find a Pumpkin. So there's Duck and there's Goose. And there's their pumpkin by Tad Hills. Now there's only one name on this book, which means that this is our author. They wrote the words of the book and they did the pictures. They're our illustrator too, because there's only one name. Ooh. Nice pumpkin, Thistle. So one of our friends is saying to Thistle, nice pumpkin. Yes, it is. I want a pumpkin too. Let's go find one. Have any of you gone and found a pumpkin yet? I did. This weekend I went and got a pumpkin. Is our pumpkin in the log, Goose? No. No pumpkin there. Is our pumpkin in the leaf pile, Duck? You see a pumpkin? No. Is our pumpkin up in the apple tree, Goose? No. Is our pumpkin under the water duck? Do you see the pumpkin? No. Is our pumpkin on top of the stump goose? Do you see a pumpkin? No. What do you see? An acorn. Have you tried the pumpkin patch? So that's Thistle, she's asking him. The what? We sure know how to find a pumpkin duck. So they went to the pumpkin patch. See all the pumpkins? They went to the pumpkin patch and they found a pumpkin. Yes, we do. They did find their pumpkin. Now, some of you might go out and find a pumpkin, or I bet you found a pumpkin last week uh, by your house. When I dropped off some pumpkins at your house, you found a pumpkin too. So we all have pumpkins. 
All right, friends, now what you are going to do is we are going to think about what we've been seeing in fall. So some things that we've been seeing are pumpkins. We've been seeing leaves falling down. We've been seeing trees with less leaves. We've been seeing leaves that are all different colors. So not green anymore. They might be red, orange, brown, yellow, all of those colors. You could also be seeing apples we've been talking about, all different things that you could be seeing outside, right? Because it is fall. Now what you, I want you to do is pick something. Pick something that you've been seeing in fall. And I want you to draw it in Seesaw and show me something that you've seen. If you've been seeing lots of pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns, anything like that, like a carved out pumpkin, you could draw that. Now, if you've been seeing a lot, a lot of leaves outside your house, go ahead and draw some leaves, okay? And make sure you think about what color those leaves are right now. So go ahead and do that activity in Seesaw, and I will see you later for literacy.